Today we're looking at a knife company that I haven't checked out in a little while, SRM, also known as Sanran Mu. They make knives for a lot of different companies like Rake and so on, and I have three to take a look at. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's start with the first one in the box. Now, full disclosure, I have already taken these out and played with them a little bit, but you know, a little flare at the beginning doesn't hurt, right? And we're going to start coming in hot with what might end up being the best $20 knife currently in existence. I mean this. I, I'm shocked at how well executed this $20 knife actually is. Now you can see, first of all, I love how trippy this handle is. It is an injection molded handle, but they have done this incredible job with the texturing on it to allow you to see the um, the lettering at different angles because of the steepness of it. There's actual angled lettering. Now, that's not just for looks. That also makes it incredibly grippy. It feels like hand Velcro. But unlike things like the Spyderco or the cold steel grippy handles, this actually doesn't hurt when you press down on it. It's not that, um, I don't know, just because maybe everything's so tight together, it doesn't hurt in any way. It's just incredibly grippy. I like this material and this handle design so much. Honestly, I'm just glad they didn't use G10. That's how nice this handle material is. I love it so, so much. Now, the blade is 8CR13MOV which is a pretty standard blade steel. But at $19, that's actually a good option, right? Especially if it's executed and heat treated properly, which I have pretty good confidence that this actually was. They, San Ramu does a really good job on their heat treatments. And on top of that, it's a crossbar lock. It's a crossbar lock, meaning it's fully ambidextrous for anyone. And to complement that, yes, it actually has a position for left-handers as well. You can thumb flick it. You can, I'm gonna try it, let me do it a better way this time. You can um, just flick it open with the crossbar. You can reverse flick like I showed. Three and a half inch blade here. Beautiful, beautiful grind. And uh, let's just test the sharpness. I've used it once, but We'll get an idea how good it is. Now this piece of paper has been wet, so we'll see. It's not going to be the greatest, but still very, very sharp out of the box. They do a pretty good job with that. I haven't had any issues or inconsistencies. An actual sharpening choil. You actually have space to actually sharpen on this knife. And the thing is, is I've had the G10 version with the D2, which is $10 more. And it has these terrible hot spots right here where the G10 just comes to a very sharp point. Whereas this is actually not sharp. This is a more comfortable knife with better grip on the side than the more expensive variant. I actually prefer this one over that more expensive variant. I, oh my gosh, I love this knife so much. Uh, we're gonna be talking about this one again, for sure. This will come up on in future lists. Um, home run slam dunk on this particular model cannot say enough now the other two are a bit more expensive but you'll see they, they kind of need to be um, better materials uh, more complex styling and some unique features that are true only to uh, this particular model so take that one out take this one out as well get these out of the way now, we have the same knife. One is in Micarta, which I this one I really like. And this one is the all-black variety. So G10 here, crossbar lock. Uh, this clip is really, really cool. Check this out. So it's a ultra-deep carry clip. And if you squeeze this, you can actually push it out. It has this really long clip design. You can flip it around and very quickly make it set up for left-handers. But unless you squeeze these two sides together, 
it won't go anywhere. What a great design that was. Now, once again, we have um, crossbar locks. This is actually going to be in VG tint, but unlike this one, which is a DLC coating, this is actually a black wash. Very, very nice. VG tint on this, like I said. This is a, I want to say 3.6 inch. I'll put exact measurements um, in front of you, but great action on this one. Really, really nice. So the for the extra money, you really do notice a difference here. I actually kind of like this blade shape quite a bit. Can I get, yeah, you can't unfortunately access that fuller to deploy it that way. You have to either use the thumb studs or just flick out the crossbar either way. Really, really nice. Now, the, my, yeah, ooh, shiny. So yeah, the SRM, this model is the 7228L. So this is the large variety. The micarta feels excellent. Like, absolutely phenomenal on the micarta here. I, I actually like this version quite a bit. This will be the one I'll end up keeping. Hollowed out liners, easier to see on this one. Beautiful action. Around $53 to $50 to $60, depending. Not bad for the materials. Not bad at all. But I got to say, my favorite one of the bunch has got to be this $20 knife. They completely knocked it out of the park. I, I, I looked at the rest of their lineup. These are some of the best outliers. They have a slightly cheaper D2 variant of this that is also shorter. So I've actually reviewed it in the past. It had a three inch blade. I really, really like that knife. It's now sitting just under $40 for the blue and black variant, which is really a good deal. Um, yeah, not much more to say. This is a brand that has already been well established and now has a couple of uh, smaller lineups that it's releasing. So Sanren Mu is, like I said, they OEM for a lot of companies, but they have their own lineup and this is one of them. Really, really well done. Let's check, I guess we could check the sharpness on this one too, huh? Yeah. No problem on this. Now this piece of paper has been wet, so it actually makes it a lot harder to cut. This is a relatively thick blade. It is a hollow, it feels almost hollow ground. Hmm, let me check something here. No, it's a flat grind. Okay, so it's a flat ground. A blade. I believe this is also a flat ground blade. Yes, it is. Yep. So flat ground blade for both. Really, really nice. I like this design. They do not have the micarta available on um, Amazon. You have to go onto their actual website to get it. A little bit of a flex on that. That's not unusual, but even though it has the steel liners, you know, micarta is a lot softer. So just keeping that in mind, if you do get the micarta, it will have a little bit more flex. Now, there's no flex on the G10. That's not surprising. And the Dara's G10 variants available on Amazon. This is a very... Okay, I probably should switch it around before I say that, right? So let me pull this. No, no tools required for this. I love that little feature that that alone I'm sure makes up for some of the pricing no no that didn't make it any less comfortable this is a very very comfortable knife and I do really really like that blade shape too very cool anyway the the these are great don't get me wrong I I think these are wonderful knives but the the outlier here, the thing that really surprises me is how good this thing is. I, a couple of things I actually missed on here. You can see that they did a really good job contouring absolutely everything in the design in just such a sleek way. In fact, there's nothing out of place. And I bought this myself. This particular one I bought myself. These two were actually sent to me. Perfectly centered. And the other thing I noticed is this jimping is done exactly correct as well. It's shallow, but sharp. So 
it's not if you press down it doesn't hurt but if you try to move forward your hand your finger will not slip this could end up being one of the better work knives that i've seen come through and get onto the table it's inexpensive it has a steel that's easy to sharpen it's going to work equally well with or without gloves i mean it's a really 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 complete package that i could recommend at twenty dollars um, I will absolutely recommend this one if you're just looking for something at the $19 price point. Now, I've been really lucky the last couple of knife reviews because we're seeing knives that are really outstanding at the $29 and the $19 price point. Very, very unusual, especially with things being generally more expensive in 2023. This is nice to see. Anyway, that's it for today. Let's go ahead and close it up. Thanks again for your time, and we'll talk again soon.